So fight for all. So fight for all. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Faithfulness, our truth. Amen. 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 Our prayer is this. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. For all the wonderful things. For all the wonderful things. For 21 days fasting. For 21 days fasting. And prayer. And prayer. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. For all the wonderful things. For all the wonderful things. For this 21 days fasting and prayer. For this 21 days fasting and prayer. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.
salvation and holiness. And as you celebrate with us today, may you have every cause to come back to pray city, to come and celebrate what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet as we take our slogan this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. We are soldiers. We have we make decree where we are standing. Far above all. above any name that we can live. Far above all. Because I am very, very holy. Far above all. I am far above all. I am forever. Hallelujah. I can only sit in the house of the Lord. The glory unto the Lord. Testimony time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Five people I have on my list this morning. Like we said last week, Brother Stevie, you are the first this morning and followed by me. Hallelujah. We never forget people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise my Lord Jesus. I don't want to talk the glory to Almighty God. On the 28th of December, which last month. We are doing all night prayer. Papa asks us for, to pray for one particular prayer point that we should open our hand and then put that anything that attack our hand in you know, our family should be loose. And then we will pray the prayer. The night of faith and I dreamed that I was in my village and then they wrote something black on my hand and I put it on my hand. And I said, what is this? So you want to to myself, go and wash your hand in your bedroom. I'm going to go to the bedroom and wash wash my hand. I want you to have the one my mom came to say, I leave there, don't wash my hand. I said, no, I have to wash my hand because this thing is not for, for me. I now wash my hand and I will wake up with the gym. In the morning, I now tell my papa, I see the gym, I dream. Papa said, ah, okay, don't worry, everything will be okay. Open your hand. Papa now pray for me. Since that day, my, my hand now start pain. Now start pain. I said, ah, what is this? The next day, I now come up to my mom. I see, look at my hand though. My mom said, congratulations, you are, you are, you are delivered. Amen. I said, thank God. The second one is, is that, Last two Sunday, Mama also said something about people that attend any church that has to pull, push you. Before I had to go to the cellar when I was in Nigeria. That, that was my church. After that, I saw the mother of I saw the mother of it. I dreamed that I was in the cellar. The woman was professor to her son. Said that that look, look at one gate. That is the gate that, that broke your, your place. If you can able to remove that gate, that means you Succeed in that. For that dream, I said, no, this, this is not that I, the Duma son. I now want to do to the gate. I now put the, put the gate on the car, car the, the gate. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 I wanted to share the word because there are those people who didn't take time coming to the all night during the uh, one week fasting before the Christmas New Year. So specific with the date on the 28th, Papa prophesied and afterwards the shame was broken off your hand. It uh, revealed itself in the dream. I want you to talk to the people here because they say anointings in the house today that break every chains and you'll be saying, God that did it for you. I want you to give them a word before watching you right now in life. Praise Mother Jesus. I don't want to tell you anything, uh, maybe program or Papa call you to tell you anything. Don't try to put faith on it because. You don't know where your blessing will come. Even that day, I didn't feel that our Papa will say we should pray about our family. That some sort of that hold our hand, we should, we should, we should be removed. I was surprised when I was dreaming in the room. I saw myself, my father started washing my hand. They got my hand with something black. And they just started washing my hand. I would say congratulations to your Followed by Sister Rachel, I come to return the thanks to the God of this commission on behalf of my younger sister. Uh, she called me on Thursday to tell me that she alone cannot thank God. I should help her to thank God. She has been suffering from some kind of infirmity. I would say satanic oppression because those, uh, they, what the, the doctor could not diagnose all this why. And uh, I could, that's why I call it oppression. And uh, coming to this altar before the Christmas, she was having a, a video call with me. I was so crushed in my spirit seeing her the way she was. I told her, uh, before I told Papa that my sister would call her from Nigeria, I think she refused to call. She was having some, uh, because of the oppression she was going through for years now. And uh, I called her during Christmas. I said, okay, if you are willing to go to TB Joshua or uh, uh, MFM in Lagos, I'm willing to pay all the, all the costs. I know what it costs there to stay in the hotel. She said she don't think her husband will alive because her husband is a Catholic. But 
suffering like that, having three little children, it's not, it was so painful, there was nothing I could do. So during the all night we were having, before the crossover, Papa asked us to sow seed to Israel. I take a seed of faith, I wrote her name on it. If Papa was washing, we see there was a name from Nigeria. I just put it up from Nigeria, I take a photo of it, I, I send it to her, I say, see yourself, personalize it, holding, you holding this envelope yourself. When you are holding that, you are sowing it to Israel. That whatsoever, I gave her the Bible verse that no whosoever will bless you is who God will bless you. Any cause that will that be transferred to you, let God cause the person and return it back. She was so thankful and she was praying with it. And she called me on Thursday and Papa left with the envelope to Israel. I told her also to be prayerful that the envelope will be going to Israel. And she called me on Thursday to tell me that after she, uh, she finally, I finally saw the seed. She said she, after when she was praying with the verse, she now starts seeing herself being delivered by Olukoya in M MFM. Yeah. She said she starts seeing herself. So when she called, she said, I wish she had known she would have submitted herself to deliverance. All those years she had been suffering. And I want to return the uh, to uh, the thanks to the God of this commission because this is one of my prayer points in my crossover. The God has answered it. I know the grace will already be for sure in the name of Jesus. I return all the thanks to the Lord for what the Lord has done. I thank I thank God for this it wasn't so much, but I just, with my heart, the weight pains me in my heart to come before this altar and drop that seed, to sow into her life, though she was in Nigeria, to Israel, and now she came with a good report. God take all the glory. May God bless, may God bless the man again, the man that is upon in this, uh, in this commission, because if not for him, I would not even have the insight to sow for my